Alright guys, what is good, and welcome back to more Pokemon Y Wonder Wedlock. In the last episode, we made it here to Lumio City, and in this episode, we are going to explore. So, take a look at that nice Lumio skyline in the night. Looks pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, we'll just do some exploring in this place and see what's happening. So, as always, guys, if you could leave a like if you enjoyed the episode, that would be awesome. And be sure to drop a comment to let me know what you thought. I'd really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, let's just start off by heading in here into this cafe and see what's going on. Doesn't look like there's too much happening, though, which is actually kind of common in these, uh, cafes. There's usually nothing really going on, so... Kind of sucks, but still, you know, not a big deal or anything. We can just talk to some people and see if we can, uh, get some stuff and whatever. Just, you know, goodies is always good, so... It's in the name, isn't it? Like, goodies. So, yeah. Alright, so let's take a look in... I think we're actually going to the lab right now. I don't see any reason not to, because there's nothing else really going on. So, yeah, let's head into Professor Sycamore's lab and get that over and done with. You've traveled a long way from Vanwell Town, but you're finally here. The, prof the professor can't wait to meet you. You can find him on the third floor, so hop in the elevator. Alright, great, thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, studying Mega Evolution, which is cool. At least I think that she said that, I wasn't really paying attention, but I know that is what he's studying, so... Yeah, alright. So we're gonna head to floor two first, because I think there are some items we can get up here first. I think we get a TM for Fall Swipe, actually, which is pretty nice. Off, uh... Is it you? No, not you, it's, uh... There is someone who gives us false swipe, I'm pretty sure. In here. Uh, is it? I think it's the one over there at that machine. So, uh... Oh no, we get luxury balls, okay, that's that's not false swipe. There is someone, I think it's actually on the third floor then. I know we get false swipe around here somewhere. But yeah, nothing to do with, uh... That of here, we got, oh, we got luxury balls, so that's pretty nice. I guess we could be cool and, like, nice and trade people Pokemon we caught with Luxury Balls. But yeah, welcome to Professor Sycamore's lab, and here is the man himself. So, we finally meet. I love uh, this music, man. This freaking music. Fantastic, you're here. Come this way, won't you? This music, oh man, it's just... It is just the best thing in the world. Alright, so there's TM54 False Swipe. Ah oh, man, I could just... Is there a place to sit down? Cause I could, I could, I could just do this. Like, I could, I could be like this all day. Just never leave this place. Just keep that music going the whole time. It is just, oh man, it's god level. All right, well, we'll just hop out anyway and see what's going on. So, many thanks for coming all the way from Vanderbilt Town. I'm Professor Sycamore. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. How is your Pokemon journey going so far? Have you met many different Pokemon? Fantastic. Let me take a quick look at your Pokemon and see. Hmm, so we've seen 33 kinds of Pokemon in the Central Kalos, then. Oh ho, the page is starting to get filled. It's looking it's starting to look good. I don't remember who I have at the front. I hope it's like Mienfu or something. So, um, yeah, he's just talking about like a mom or whatever. And here comes Professor, or, well, here comes Shauna and Callum. Alright, so we're gonna battle with uh, Professor Sycamore. Oh cool, I got a chance to change my team. That's good. And oh was good. That is good. Um, we are gonna go with uh, Inke and Mienfu for sure because uh, Tangela is the only Pokemon I have that can fight, and uh, it can't do anything against his Charmander. So better to go with uh, reliable Inke and Mienfu. So let's start the battle. So this battle is pretty easy. He does say he's not very tough. That is pretty correct because. Professor Sycamore does have the three starter Pokemon, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. So we're gonna go with Inkate and hope this thing uses uh, Growl a couple of times, to be honest. Uh, we're just gonna go for Foul Play, because it should do more damage than Peck. So hit up that Bulbasaur with a Foul Play, nice, and he does go for a Growl, so I think we could pretty much clean sweep one out with Inkate by just going for Foul Play. Which is what we're gonna do. I mean, just make things easier for ourselves, I suppose. Don't see any reason not to. Alright, so, next up he's going to Squirtle. Actually, will it take out Squirtle? Probably not. Squirtle is the more defensive, so I don't know if we'll take this thing out with a single foul play. Even though we are a plus one attack. Yeah, well, that didn't do anything. <laughs> well, it did do a lot, but I mean, it 
I figured it would actually do a lot more, but sure, that's cool, whatever. And foul play will knock it out now. But yeah, Inke is pretty overpowered. Just because of contrary and things always using Growl or whatever. Alright, so Charmander is the last Pokemon on his team. It is level 10 as well. And we're gonna hit that up with a foul play. So, let's take that thing out. Alright, that, wow, that didn't even die either. Weird. Well, not weird, but I mean, meh. It's no big deal. Inke took care of everything anyway, so who cares? Alright, so there we go. And Inke nearly level 16. But Professor Sigmore has been put down, even though that was sort of mean. Like, put down is. He lost. He lost. I think I figured it out. Figured what out? Stumina, you are indeed a Pokemon trainer. Or an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic if you took another Pokemon with you. Here, pick one. Alright, so yeah, this is a rare occasion in a game where you actually get to pick two starter Pokemon. And, um. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. Uh, I'll go with my favorite, which is Bulbasaur. So, yeah, uh, we'll pick Bulbasaur. It is my favorite. And we gotta do a trade with this thing now, so that's cool. Or we get to do a trade. Uh, we're gonna give a nickname I give to pretty much every Bulbasaur, because it just gives me good memories of the first Pokemon movie. So, step up, uh, Brute Root, <laughs> the Bulbasaur. And I believe we get the Venusaur right too, which is cool. So, the Mega Stone for evolving it into Mega Venusaur. Unfortunately, we can't trade that, so I couldn't give someone a Mega Venusaur pretty much. But, um, it's okay. So, yeah, we're gonna want to trade away this uh, Bulbasaur when we get the opportunity. Give us a Pokemon, we're just gonna get rid of it right away. As soon as possible. But, yeah, you just want to talk about Mega Evolution and stuff. He wants to know all the secrets. That's cool. That's, uh, pretty nice. But, uh, yeah, nothing really important going on. So, what I'm gonna do is connect to the internet, and, oh, the, the cool music's gone. No. Alright, we'll take a look at this Bulbasaur anyway. So, Brute Root, it is a, uh, calm nature, which isn't, nah, it's not bad. Uh, it's bad when that's Vine Whip, but <laughs> otherwise it's not too bad. But, yeah, this thing is gonna get Wonder Traded away, so... What we are going to do is, or what I'm going to do, is just pause for a second, or cut out while I connect to the internet, and I'll see you guys in just a second, so, see you guys then. Alright, so we're just, well, okay, we're successfully connected to the internet, and what we are going to do is, uh, trade away this Bulbasaur. Now, we do need to get a female Pokemon, because, uh, Pidgey is male, and Wonder Wedlock, male-female partnership, so... What we'll do is cut out, and we'll be back when we have traded away Root Root. So, I'll see you guys in just a second. So, see you guys then. Alright, so we have got Oscar from Mexico. And let's see what he is going to be giving us. Hopefully something nice. So, let's see. Alright, off goes Brute Root. And in return for Brute Root, we are getting ourselves a Quagsire. Now, this thing must be level 25 or lower. It must be a female. I have a feeling it won't be any of those things. Could be female, but I don't know if it'll be lower than level 25. I'll we'll have to see. But Quagsire, the water ground type, would actually be a cool Pokemon to have. Because it's really bulky. But I guess we'll see. So, Quagsire, it is female. It's level 31, which means, unfortunately, it is too high leveled to be uh, used. Because we have to go by the gym leader's highest Pokemon, and the next one we're going to face is level 25, which is Grant. So, unfortunately this Quagsire has to go, in the interest of fairness. So yeah, let's just uh, trade that thing away. And what we'll do is, again, as always, we'll cut back to when we're about to make the trade. So, see you guys in a second. Alright, and we're back, and we got Katie in England. So let's see what KD is going to be trading us. Hopefully female, lower than 25. And she can have Oscar... Oscar's, uh... Quagsire from Mexico. So we got a Han Edge. Alright, cool. If it's female, I'll totally be happy with that. Do like Han Edge. So, we got ourselves a new sword. Here's hoping it is female, and... Level 25 or lower, because you know the rules. Alright, so let's see. 
it is female, it's level 1, which means it is viable, which means we have our new po- or new pair, so, a new Pokemon, and it's a modest- or not so modest, it's an adamant nature, Stu, come on. So, plus attack minus special attack, that's not bad. That's good in-game, it has Swords Dance, which is sweet. And yeah, I'm just gonna disconnect from the internet because I don't wanna get cut out during a battle. But yeah, we've cut our- or not caught, but we've got ourselves a Hunt Edge, which means we finally have a full team. Here it is. Looking alright, <laughs> I mean... May not look the strongest on paper, but I mean, it, it could- it could come good, we'll see. We'll see. So, because I have a new Pokémon, I am allowed to use the Experience Share to level it up, because again, it's level 1, and I would like to catch up to the rest of my team. But I think first we got some stuff going on here, so... Let's see what's happening. So, I'll be able to meet them soon then. Yes. The children chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. And here's one of them now. That's Duina. Stuina, come here a sec. Oh, you received a Pokemon from the professor then. Or Pokedex from the professor then. This is a wonderful thing, indeed. You are one of the chosen ones. I am Lissandre. I've tried to learn as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a, bi a brighter future. Professor Sycamore has taught me so much. Oh, I see you have a Holocaster. Knowledge is power, after all. Put it to good use. Now listen, it is vital that this world becomes a better place. And the people in Pokemon chosen to work, or chosen to make the world better, must work tirelessly to achieve this goal. Well, I'll be off. Please give Professor Sycamore my best. My desire is for a more beautiful world. Alright then. Still, I wonder what kind of a beautiful world this Andre desires. In this great big Kalos region, there are many different Pokemon. I hope getting a Pokedex will give you a chance to learn about them. Alright, great. So, let me just put the experience share back on. Even though we will probably, actually we'll probably get like a few battles, because we'll go into like the restaurant or something. And that'll probably be about all the battling we do. Stu, there's a place I want to go check out, so I'll see you around. Alright. Uh, there's something I want to talk about to you. I'll wait for you at Cafe, or talk to you about. I'll wait for you in Cafe Soleil, neighbor. I don't know what Callum wants to talk about. Why couldn't he just use the Holocaster? No clue, but it seems so tush. I am curious what's going on, but we should probably stay out of it. Hey Stu, to get to Camfrey Town, leave the lab, turn left, and go straight. That Cafe Soleil Callum was talking about is over that way too. Alright, sweet, so, thanks Tierno and... Trevor, you didn't really do anything, so no thanks for you. Lumio City may be very large, but if you may stay in the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. I'm gonna go on a little walk. The streets sure wind and wander here. Oh, just so you know, Camfrey Town and Cafe Soleil are over that way. Alright, cool. Just walk away, coconut head. Anyway, before we head to Cafe Soleil, we are gonna do some uh, exploring here of, I think this is the Verdant... Uh, Vernal Avenue, not Verdant. I don't know, Verdant Avenue is like somewhere else in the game. But yeah, this is, uh, the Boutique Couture. I believe we can't even go in here yet, because we ain't stylish enough. Yeah, wow. Discrimination. We aren't stylish enough, so we can't get in. I don't like discrimination. <laughs> Sorry, there's nothing I can do about it, though. Discriminator's gonna discriminate, apparently. Alright, so we can't go any further because the power outage, and we'll just check out what's going on in this cafe here. So, um... Uh, sure. What? Okay, um... Uh, this is just telling me about the cities of... Kalos, which I don't care too much about. And nothing... Really. Like, there's really nothing in these cafes, is there? I think the only one that, like, has some sort of... Like significance is the one that uh lets you. I can remember what it does. It, it does something, but um I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's the one with the roller skating girl that teaches you a new move. Anyway, this is the herb place you can buy uh herbs to heal your Pokemon, but they are bitter and make your Pokemon dislike you. So all up to you if you want to. Uh, Poison your Pokemon, that's not poison, but <laughs> they will dislike you, because the, the herbs are bitter. So it's whether you want to be that nice guy that treats his Pokemon with care, or wants to burn their insides. Alright, so, um, 
Yeah, he'll give you the Charizard at Y for a hundred mil- or not- Why is he giving me the- Oh yeah, because I got the Venus right, duh. But yeah, he'll give you the Charizard at Y for one million. I don't know if that's, uh, worthwhile, but that's all up to you. Anyway, that's all there is here on Vernal Avenue. It's pretty short and to the point. And I can make a trainer PR video. I, th I feel like I might do it. I did it before. What I want to do is get my hair done, though. So, yeah, let's just uh, drop in here. It's open pretty late, though. It's nearly 2, 2 a.m. for me. So, uh, I'm good for styling and color. I kind of want it short. All over. Yeah, 3,000 bucks seems kind of a ripoff. Um, I want it sort of medium length. And kind of something darker. I mean, kind of brownish, because that's. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what we look like at the end. I don't care about any of this stuff, though, so yeah. Yes, yes, yes. A button mashing here. Oh! Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the kind of stuff I like to see, looking, looking good. We are looking good, we're about to hit the town tonight, got my hair done. <laughs> but I actually like that a lot more than the blonde hair, so. Let's see, Cafe Soleil is down this, way. I'm trying to like turn the camera, somehow. But yeah, Cafe Soleil is down here, I think. Not this one, but it should be around here somewhere. Ah, uh, this is another useless cafe, I think. There's a kid behind the counter. Looks like he's wearing his pajamas. But he, he apparently wants to tell me stuff, so... Uh, oh, this is the camera place, I guess. Don't really care about that either. I mean, I'm not a big photo taker, nor do I like really getting my photo taken. It's sort of a personal thing. I don't picture well. I don't picture very well at all. Alright, so what's going on in this place? And there my Pokemon are good, thank you. Uh let's sit down. Sup girl? Alright, cool. Um <laughs> nothing really. Uh okay, so there's the skater person I guess. And let's head upstairs to see if we can get anything else. Even if, like, if there is anything else around here. Fletchling, chillin'. Okay. Hey, come here. Alright, so yeah, I'm just trying to get stuff, but there's really nothing. Nobody's giving out any goodies. Just a city full of NPCs that don't give anything, which... I don't like that. I like getting stuff for free. Alright, so... What is going on out here? Still have to go to, uh, Cafe Soleil. And we can't go anywhere. Or we can't go that way, so... May as well head back. It is this way, right? Yeah, it should be down here. It should it's, Here it is, wow. Like, how did that not happen when I went by him earlier? He should have interacted with him. But whatever. I don't know why he wants to go here specifically out of like a million cafes in Lumio City, but sure. Oh, it's Lissandre, and is that Diantha? So get this neighbor, Lissandre is the head of Lissandre Labs, which created the Holocaster, a video messaging device. You already know about Diantha, right? She's one of the most famous movie stars in the world, after all. I wonder what the two of them are doing here together. You played a young girl so wonderfully in your debut on the silver screen. Wouldn't you rather remain young and beautiful forever? And always play such roles? What a strange question. Why would I ever want to play the same roles over and over? Youth may be beautiful, but that's not all there is to life. Everything changes. I want to live and change like that too. So I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't it your duty to be ever beautiful? Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. I would end the world in an instant so that beauty never fades. I can't stand the thought of the world becoming uglier. Oh, hello, Stuina. This is Diantha, or Diantha, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. She moves the multitudes with her excellent acting, which is to say, 
She decide, or she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh, if only everyone were like her, what a beautiful world this would be. If you'll excuse me. He's weird, man. He's... He's very weird. Lissandra is very weird. And who are you two? I'm Callum. It's a pleasure. This is... Stuina, right? I heard Lissandra call you that. You both have lovely names. Oh. And you're both trainers. Don't your Pokemon look happy? I'm a trainer myself. In my off time. I'll look forward to us battling someday. Well, yeah, I know Stuina's a lovely name. It's actually French. <laughs> Alright, so she wants... Or not she wants. He wants us to be rivals. So, yeah, I guess we'll say yes. And, um... That's pretty much it, so... What we will do is head to, uh... Restaurant Lana, I believe it is, which is all the way down here. And uh, we have to do some double battles, but we'll use Mianfu and Inke because using anything else would probably make us lose. Especially Pidgey and Hot Edge, seeing as they're like level 1. Well, Pidgey's not level 1, but Hot Edge is, and I went too far because uh, there's a blackout, even though I can see the lights on. Everybody can see the lights on, so I mean, there's no blackout. That's a lie. Anyway. Let's do a uh, restaurant and uh, just get some experience and get some money. It is 3,000 though, so I mean, spend money to make money. That's what life's all about, kids. Spend money to make money. <laughs> Alright, so. Gotta eat it in two turns, or like to feed him in two turns. Chef Roger, he has Pants Age and Pants Ear. Which aren't all out threatening. So what we'll do is hit up the uh, Pants Age with the Foul Play, and we will fake out the Pants here. I actually could have used, uh, not gonna use Tangela, because there's a thing, there's a Pants here, so obviously that wouldn't have worked. But maybe could have used Pidgey and Hone Edge. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll just, uh, switch it up. And we'll pound the Pants H. Which should knock it out from there. And then the Foul Play should knock out Pants here. So that was two turns, which means, uh, we should, like, get the maximum amount of, like, tiny mushrooms, I think it is, at the end. Which isn't too bad. Anyway, Pidgey up to 12, Haunt Edge up to 2. He only got a few levels, actually, so... No point in me saying how many levels he's gonna get up. But I need to get up to level 4 from just one Pokemon. And there we go. So once Han Edge gets to like level. Eh, level 11, level 12, like in around the same level as Pidgey, then I'll uh, take off the EXP share. Because it is just to train him up to in around that level. And learn Fury Cutter. Bug type move. Alright, cool. And yeah, it should be alright by the time I finished uh, this restaurant. Okay, so, eat up this salad. I'm a small little girl, though. I don't know if I can eat, like, a three-course meal. But apparently we're meant to eat this one in two turns as well, which is fine. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Alright, so pan sear and pan pour. And I could just double target one, to be honest. But uh, we'll foul play and fake out just different targets, like why not? I mean, we could, again, double target as I said, but it really doesn't make a difference because we should knock them both out in two turns regardless. So Water Gun does diddly, and that thing flinched because of foul play. So tackle, and uh, this thing can get a kick to the face, this pan pour. Kick, ooh, right in the gut, man, I saw the thing flinch. That that thing took it hard. It, it took one right in the stomach. That's got a hoi. <laughs> Alright, so, level 6. And there we go, so take out that Pants Age. And Inkate, almost level 17. Pidgey's up to 13. And Lord Quick Attack, great. On Edge, slowly but surely. Track him behind. Still trying to train up uh, Feebas too, actually, so... It helps with training Feebas, even though we haven't seen uh, any levels up from Feebas or Tangela yet. All 
Alright, so this should be the last one. And uh, it should be Pan Poor and Pan Sage. Judging from the way things have gone. And yeah, great, so. Same as always, hit one with a foul play, hit the other with a fake out. And this thing is gonna get clapped <laughs> right in the face. And I think I'll follow it up with a like roundhouse kick. <laughs> from uh get that clap in the face, followed by a roundhouse kick <laughs> from Metatite. I didn't mean to double target, but it's gonna take out Panpour anyway, so whatever. But yeah, I think I got like a slap in the face followed by a roundhouse kick. That's got a wheat. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. So it's not even funny, like it's stupid. <laughs> like what, what's the matter with me? Alright, so I need to be careful with uh with Mienfu now, because it is very high leveled. And uh it's six levels off the level limit for the next gym, and I do intend on using it in the next gym, because it is a rock type gym. And Mienfu would obviously be great there. So I need to be careful. We have a long way to the next gym. So I really gotta start using other things. Alright, so... That is Restaurant Lana. Pretty much destroyed. Got a nice, uh... Midnight snack. 15 tiny mushrooms. And wow, I'm like the best customer they've ever had. And, um, we'll give it a hundred dollar tip. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> It's pocket change in the Pokemon world, apparently. Hundred dollar tip. I don't even tip that often in Ireland. That's uh, I know in like America, that's a huge thing, but in Ireland, it's tipping isn't very important. We're jerks. Like you, you get you get your paycheck, you don't get any tips. <laughs> anyway, got a hollow clip, and I think after this hollow clip, we will wrap it up. So here's tier note. And he's on Route 5 now, hoping to, or just hop on Wild Pokemon, hurry up and check it out. And yeah, I think with all that's and done, I'm gonna wrap it up here. In the next episode of Pokemon Y Wonder Wedlock, we're gonna head up to Camp Freer Town and see what's happening. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, it would be awesome if you could leave a like, and also drop a comment to tell me what you thought. See you again, thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will be seeing you guys next time, so see you guys then.